Washington has joined the fight to try to stop the spread of invasive species in Lake George. Senator Gillibrand. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand joined state and local leaders in Bolton Landing to announce $50,000 in EPA money to buy two portable power wash stations that'll clean boats before they go in the water in hopes of keeping more invaders from reaching and threatening the lake. Some of the biggest threats to our water bodies come from invasive species. Right here on Lake George, Asian clams pose a real threat to the health of the lake's ecosystem. Zebra mussels, curly-leafed pondweed, Eurasian water milfoil, and the spiny water flea all threaten the economic vitality of this region. And when they get in, invasives can be an expensive challenge. Around Lake George, more than one and a half million dollars has been spent over the past three years just to tackle a few clusters of Asian clams. Lake groups say boat washing and inspection stations are the most effective way to guard against new invaders. What makes more sense than washing boats before you put them in the water? <laughs> I mean, if you think about that, it is a simple idea, but it is one that clearly needs to be adopted and implemented. For now, the boat wash is voluntary, but many locals want to make it mandatory. and are asking the state to help cover half the cost of more washing stations, so charges and fees don't get passed on to boaters. And our group is committed to see that nothing less than mandatory boat washing takes place. I think if we can raise the funds for it, I think it makes great sense. And bills in both the U.S. House and Senate would expand the hit list of invasive species banned from being sold or brought into New York. If you'd like to learn more about the work of the scientists and lake groups tackling invasive species in Lake George, Mountain Lake PBS teamed up with Bright Blue Eco Media to produce a documentary on their efforts called Lake Defenders. You can watch it on our website at mountainlake.org.